Hi, I'm Laura GB and in this video we're going to look at adding a Power Automate button to a Power BI report and I'm going to use it to write some data to a table that I'm using in my report. So let's have a look at the report first. Here we are in a report showing my data from riding my exercise bike. So I have intervals where I pedal like crazy and then I have recovery time. So we can see the intervals, they're the two green columns we can see, and then my recovery are the two purple columns. And I want to be able to highlight and say, this is where an interval starts, and this is where recovery starts in my data. And I want to do that inside my Power BI report. So we're going to write a really simple little flow to do that. So if I highlight, so here's the beginning of a, in my, in my report, here's the beginning of a, of an interval, okay, or let's say, sorry, not the beginning of an interval, it's the beginning of the recovery phase, okay, the end of an interval. And so that is, uh, we can see up here, selected seconds, 1,200, and that's going to be a recovery. So here are my three measures across the top here that I want to add to this table here. We're going to add a flow button to do it. So Let's go to make sure I've got no visual selected. And then we're going to go on the home ribbon on the drop down the insert. And we're going to go to power automate. And it gives you some instructions. Okay. In what to do. The first thing it asks you to do is add data. So we're going to add our three measures. And I have organized them to be in a little folder here. Flow measures. So there's the activity ID i.e. which ride am I on, because I've ridden my exercise bike more than once. And then the next one is going to be our selected seconds. And then lastly, our selected section. So our recovery. Okay. Then the next thing you need to do in here is click the three dots on the top of there and click edit. And that will take you into Power Automate embedded inside Power BI Desktop. I haven't got any flows that work there at the moment. So we're going to go for new and we're going to go for instant cloud flow. Now our my flow is going to be kept really simple. So we're going to add one new step. Okay, and I'm going to write back to SQL Server. So I'm just going to quickly look for my SQL Server and then insert row. Now my I've already set up the connection, so I've already been through this once, so I'm going to go for using my connection string. If it's your first time using this one, okay, you need to go and set it all up, but that's not too difficult. And then I'm going to pick my table, and then once you pick the table in here, it asks you for the data to fill in for that table row. And here we get our dynamic content. So activity ID, we can see it's come through as Power BI data and then the name of whatever you picked. And as soon as you do that, it puts it in and apply to each because actually what it sends back, to, sends to flow is a table with our data in it. And flow doesn't know whether there might be multiple rows in that table. So it puts it in and apply to each. And I can leave it in there it'll work fine. Section start is my selected seconds and my section name is my selected section. Okay, so we, we managed to get all those in and that's done. So my flow is written. I could done all sorts of other things as well, okay? So it's, but that's just a simple example. So pop, top left hand corner, let's put a name in. So I'm gonna call it add Activity section, name your flows well, because you'll forget what they're for. Top right, I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to click save and apply. And what that does is it saves the flow and it adds it to your button inside your report. I can then click on back to report. And there we are, I've got a big flow button. So if I hold down, uh, because I'm in desktop, 
I have to hold down the control key, click on it. It's triggered and it's triggered. It's finished the trigger. So now let's go, let's unselect my second in this chart. And now let's on the optimize ribbon, just do a refresh visuals. And there we go. It's become purple and I could continue on through my report. So there we go. We've added a flow. We've done the, we've done that part. Let's just quickly finish off by doing a publish and showing what it looks like online. So if we switch over to the workspace and I open the report, I can go and pick the beginning of my next interval. Say it's going to be an interval click onto there and click run flow. Top right, I can click refresh visuals. And there we are, we've added another point. So it works. Just a couple of housekeeping things. Okay, let's go and click, let's go and switch over to Power Automate. Just a quick refresh to find our new flow. There you are, there is our flow, it's in Power Automate. But what you need to understand here is it's in the default environment. OK, that's where it stores it. You don't get a choice about that, which is a bit of a downside, but it's um, available there that you could add it to a solution, but it would still be in the default environment. So in this video, we added a Power Automate button to a Power BI report. I'm Laura GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.